Hi, in this session we are going to discuss a linked list problem. Given a linked list, how do you find m by kth node? The input for this problem is pointed to a linked list and a constant k. Since we don't know the number of elements in the linked list, let us assume length of the linked list is n. The number of elements in the linked list are n. How do you solve this problem? Let us enumerate all possible solutions for this problem. Let us try all possible solutions with the different data structures. To find n by kth of the linked list, first we need to find n value, that means length of the linked list. So the obvious solution for this problem is, first we need to find length of the linked list, and for that we do one traversal, and another traversal for finding n by kth naught. This is for finding length of the linked list, and this is for n by kth naught of the linked list. So the overall term, running time of this algorithm is n plus n by k, which is nothing but order of n, but with the two scans. In the first scan, we are finding length of the linked list, and in the second scan, we are going to the n by kth node. What is the space complexity of this solution? See, linked list is already given. We don't have to create the linked list. And to find length of the linked list or for traversing n by kth node, just one simple variable is enough. So the overall space is not varying in terms of n, we can say the space complexity is 1. Since we are creating only one variable and the space is not varying in terms of input n, so the space complexity of this solution is order of 1. Time complexity is order of n, space complexity is order of 1, but with two scans to get the order of n complexity. Is there any other way of solving this problem? Let us try different techniques. Can we use sorting? Let us try. Let us see whether sorting helps or not. Sorting of the linked list arranges the elements in either ascending order or descending order. But to find n by kth node, it does not matter what is the order of the elements. So in this case, the sorting is not helping us much. So there is no extra advantage that we are getting with sorting. So sorting is not helping. Is there any other way of solving this problem? Let us try the different data structure. Let us say hashing. See whether hashing helps or not. In the first solution, we have got the time complexity as order of n and space complexity as order of 1. Since the number of elements in the linked list are n, and to find length of the linked list, we have to see each and every element at least once. Because of that, we cannot reduce the time complexity less than n. On the similar lines, space complexity is already order of 1. Anyway, we cannot reduce less than 1. What, what is the place that we can, where we can do the improvement? If we carefully observe in the first solution, we are doing two scans. The place where we can do the improvement is the second scan. See whether we can avoid the second scan or not. Let us assume we have an hash table. Traverse the linked list, keep inserting all the elements into the hash table. First element. I am assuming the hash table is uniformly distributed. So by the time we insert all the elements into the hash table, we can keep a simple counter to see how many elements are got inserted into the hash table. That way we can keep track of the length of the linked list. So once we insert all the elements into the hash table, we can get the length of the linked list. And for the traversal, we are spending order of n time. Once we get the length of the linked list, and our next step is finding n by kth node. To find n by kth node, we can directly apply the hash function on n by k. So hash of n by k will give us the n by kth node. So to avoid the second scan, we are keeping all the elements into the hash table. And instead of retraversing the n by k nodes, we are directly going for the h of n by k, which will give us the n by kth node. So 
the complexity of this one is 1. So, the overall running time of this one is order of n. So, the time complexity of this solution is order of n. What is the space complexity of this solution? Since we are inserting all the elements of the link list into the hash table, the size of the hash table is depend on the input size, the length of the link list. So, the space complexity of this solution is in terms of n and that is size of the hash table order of n. Is there any other way of solving this problem? As we have already seen in the first solution, the minimum time complexity is order of n because we have to see each and every element at least once and we have already got in the first solution itself with the two scans. So, the improvement place is only the second scan. Is there a way to avoid the second scan to find n by k through? By using single traversal, is there a way to find n by k through? Let us assume we have two pointers, first pointer and second pointer, where the first pointer is pointed to head of the link list. The idea here is since we need to find n by kth node, for every k jumps of the first pointer, we will be making one jump of the second pointer and we will be traversing till the end of the link list. So, using single traversal, for every k jumps of first node, we will be making one jump of the second node. So, for example, as you said like initially second pointer is pointed to null and for every k jumps, let us assume k is equal to 3 for our example. So, after k jumps, we will be making the first jump, first jump, second jump, third jump. So, first pointer moved to fourth node and we will be making the second pointer to head of the link list. And another k jumps of first node, first pointer, okay, third. second pointer will be moving to the next node. And another k jumps, second pointer will be moving to the next node. So, the idea here is for every k jumps of the first pointer, second pointer is getting incremented by 1. What is the time complexity of this solution? By the time first pointer reaches the destination, obviously the second pointer will be pointed to n by kth node because for every k jumps of first pointer, we are making one increment for the second pointer. So, what is the overall running time of this algorithm? Since you are assuming both the pointers are moving in the same iteration, same traversal, the time complexity of this one is n. And the space complexity of this solution is order of 1. Because we are just using two pointers to find n by kth node. Since the space is not varying in terms of n, we can say the space complexity of this solution is order of 1. And we are using only one traversal. So, the overall time complexity of this solution is order of n for time, order of 1 for space. Now, let us code this solution. Let us say function name is find the nk node. As we have discussed, the input to this problem is pointed to head of the link list. And a constant k. Let us assume we are returning pointed to n by kth node or you can return data as well. Let us add some base conditions for this solution first. If k is less than or equal to 0, obviously it is not a valid input, it is not a valid constant because n by 0 or n by minus is not a valid input for this solution. So, we can return null. 
if head is not there, that means if linked list is empty, not head, you can return no. These two are the base conditions for this problem. Now, the next step is we are traversing all the complete linked list elements by using two pointers, and for every k gems of the first pointer, we are making one jump of the second pointer. So, for that, we need a pointer. First pointer, you can assume the head of the linked list itself. So, we need to declare a, another pointer variable for the second pointer. Let us say second point. First pointer is head, second pointer is this one. The next step is traverse the linked list elements and by using two pointers, for every k gems of the first pointer, we have to make one gem for the second pointer. Let us traverse the linked list. How do we check whether the first pointer has made k gems or not? For that, let us use a variable, let us say i, to see how many elements we traverse. i percentage k, the input is k, is equal to equal to 0. We are using modulo operator because it has the property of circular. We know that. For a given constant k, if you are using with modulo k, means the circular range is 0 to k minus 1. So for every k jumps, i percentage k will be 0. That means we have made completed the k jumps of the first row. Initially, since second pointer is pointing to null, if second pointer is not there, if second pointer is null, we can assign the head to that. So this is the initialization. Else, increase the second pointer to next row. And keep incrementing the value of i. And at the end, turn second pointer. Now let us see the code again. First we are checking whether k is valid input or not. If it is less than or equal to 0, as we have seen it is not a valid input. If the linked list is empty, we are returning null. And while traversing the linked list, for every k gems of the first node, that means it is the completion of the k point, k gems of the first node. We are checking whether the second point is null or not. For the first time it will be null. So we are assigning it to head. In the, in the else case, we are ascending it to the next point. That means incrementing the second pointer by 1. For every k gems of the first node, we are incrementing the second pointer by 1. And every time we are incrementing the i value to see how many nodes we process. And at the end, we are returning the second pointer, which is nothing but the m by kth node of the linked list. Since we are using only one traverser for finding m by kth node, the running time of the solution is order of n. And the number of variables are constant, two variables. So the space complexity is order of one. So we have seen multiple solutions for this problem. If we keep trying with different data structures, we will be getting multiple solutions with the different time complexity and space complexity. And we will be following the similar approach for all the remaining problems as well. For Java and Python code, you can refer GitHub location of our career model.